everyone. Welcome to my space. Today I'm going to bake a chocolate pound cake. Um, in the intro, I showed you the ingredients. I've already pre-measured everything. So to my mixing bowl, I have added two cups of sugar, one and three-fourth cups of all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup of Hershey's special dark chocolate or cocoa, or KGO, however you pronounce it, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and also to this one I added one teaspoon of salt. So I have all of my dry ingredients already placed in the um, mixing bowl, and I'm just gonna put it on stir so that they all become incorporated um, together. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir just to make sure that everything is blended in. Then I'm going to add, um, it wants you to add one cup of milk. And I'm using organic whole milk. And I'm gonna blend this just, just to stir. A half a cup of vegetable oil. stir it all just to get it all mixed in. Next I'm going to add two eggs one at a time. And I'll let this blend and just until the yolk is broken and make sure it's all well incorporated into the batter. I'll add my second egg. This time I'm going to uh, wrap the speed up to two and just get a real quick mix on it. And next what I want to add is two teaspoons of vanilla. And this is the bacon vanilla by Watkins. sides of my mixing bowl and also the bottom of it. very well the next thing I'm going to do is add one cup of boiling water right and you don't want the water to be a raging boil water boils at 100 degrees Celsius so you just want the water to get a, a start on the boil you start seeing all the bubbles in the bottom of the pan um, no need to get it too hot 
boiling water is boiling water. That's one cup. So I'm gonna add one cup of boiling water. Then you're gonna stir it for two minutes. second and again scrape down the sides and the bottom of the uh, mixing bowl just to make sure that everything has got mixed everything has got incorporated together I'll go ahead and get my baking pan ready. Today I'm going to use the Nordic Ware and I'm going to use the Bunk style pan. And I'm going to spray it with the quick bake release. This is an all purpose pan coating. This is another one that I use and I really like it. I usually find this one at Ollie's. transferred to the baking pan and placed in the oven. I did preset my temperature at the oven, uh, in the oven at 320, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is already set at the temperature. Preheat it up. And then for this one, I'll do the same. I just pour it in the baking pan and I'll just go around and around the pan. Just making sure that everything gets mixed in. ready to go in the oven. No need to do worry about air pockets in this one because this one is very loose. So now I'll just sit it in my oven, make sure that it's just flush on the bottom rack. And this one takes roughly about 30 to 35 minutes to bake. Again, I know my oven, you know your oven. So you always check your cakes to make sure um, so that you can adjust accordingly and have the correct baking time. about 30 to 35 minutes 
So I'll place you on a brief pause and I'll be right back with you as soon as it's time to remove it from the oven. Okay guys, I have removed the cake from the oven. I'm gonna let it cool on a rack for roughly about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna transfer it to um, a cake pan. And I'll pick you back up when I'm ready to transfer. Okay, everyone, I have transferred the cake from the cake plate or from the cake pan to a cake plate. I'm going to allow it to continue to cool and then I will put a probably a chocolate or maybe a fudge um, icing on it. But once I'm ready to do that, I will um, pick you back up. Beautiful cake. Chocolate cake. Everyone's favorite. Okay guys, the cake is ready. It has cooled and I have put a chocolate fudge icing on the cake. It looks delectable. I know this is gonna be delicious. Yeah. So this is a chocolate cake baked from the special dark chocolate by Hershey's and it has a chocolate fudge icing. Thank you guys for joining me on the bake of the chocolate cake. Um, if you like the cakes that I bake um, and you feel that this is something that uh, you would be interested in trying in your kitchen, please click the thumbs up, which is the like button. And what it does is just populates the videos out into the algorithm so that others can see it and view it as well. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, click the notification bell and click all so that as soon as I have a bake and something is uploaded on YouTube, you'll be the first one to see it. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you on the next bake.